After running the study, you can view the tabular and plotted results. These include the results table, which will show you the matrices from the S parameter and impedance and admittance, as well as the port results. This is available for every one of the frequencies that have been selected. This information can also be exported so it can be viewed offline or from another program. These tabular results as well as the 3D plots can be viewed in the report. By selecting pertinent information, you can prepare a report for publication. You can either publish it in Microsoft Word or HTML format. The 3D results include the electric field for each of the frequencies specified, as well as the magnetic field. The 3D plot can be modified by editing the definition, either by changing the plot type or the frequency of operation. Aside from continuous plots, contour plots as well as vector plots are available. The contour plot will show different magnitudes and lines. The vector plot will show the actual direction of the fields. The same plots can be shown in the magnetic field as well. You can change the settings and select the appropriate frequency. For any 3D plot, you can also view the values inside. You can either use a section clip or an ISO clip. In ISO clipping, you can view the values inside depending on the magnitudes. There are some options for viewing values inside, which include applying a mesh. Multiple surfaces can be viewed as well. In 3D mesh viewing, you can see the mesh inside just as with a mesh plotter. Section clipping allows viewing the values of the fields inside by position, not by magnitude. You can drag the plane being selected to view depending on the position needed. You can either apply different perpendicular planes or you can change the position by entering the distance and the angles. Another important feature is the electrical parameter plot. The user can enter a two-dimensional plot which relates the generalized parameters to the frequencies. These generalized parameters are the same ones available in the results table. You can drag through the plots to view the value related to the frequency and you can view all of the plots numerically in the list view. After completing a study, you can clone it. When this copy is made, you can make small changes to the preprocessing inputs. You can make changes to the materials or the restraints, or even regenerate the mesh with different controls. You can also change the properties of the study itself by changing the frequencies 
or the type of frequency sweep. For even bigger changes, you can create a new study which follows a different configuration. This allows for broader comparison be between different designs. After creating several different studies, you can simply activate a configuration and load an existing study to review the values. You can also perform head-to-head -head comparisons between different studies by applying the results and comparing them in different curves. This way you can drag through different frequencies and compare the different parameters to each other. Running analyses can be done individually for each study, or it can be done for a group of studies by running all studies together. For more information on HF4X and other products, you, you can visit our website.